Hello there. In this video, I want to introduce you to new AI art generator service online. And I know it's many of them pop up almost every day, but this is unique and different. And I'll show you in a way why it's different. So it's called mage.space. And uh, first time when you log in, it's nothing look different from other services. So right here, for example, you just can go ahead and type your prompt. And what I'm going to do is just go type it and let's process it. Notice what is happening now. I don't need login. Okay. I don't need to pay anything. It's totally free. So and it's yes, it's generated one image for me. It's showing also what version it is using model um, 1.5 stable diffusion, all this stuff. We can enhance a little bit this image processing and it says 512 by 512. Okay. Um, Let's open the option and see what we actually have hidden there. If we open options, you'll notice it way more models here. So you can have a stable diffusion 1.5 or 2.1 for free render, but this is required you to log in. Before you log in, let's look what we have it. And other ones you need to upgrade to pro. This is what I wanted. I want to look on the plans and you'll notice free plan, unlimited creation, unlimited privacy. I mean, in the hands, you have your basic plan where you can actually create unlimited privacy enhance and most importantly have it NSFW that it stands a little bit different from other services. It is, uh, you can render some uh, pictures that not safe for workplace here as well with some models that I look in a second, uh, but keep this in mind. If you don't want it, them accidentally pop up, you can enable the filter. So those images won't showing when you render. So it's kind of very nice options and of course you can have it your pro plan which include all all models and plus the added additional models what i'm going to do i actually purchased pro plan and i'm going to log in by the way i'm not sponsored by them um it's i done just all on my own self okay as log in you can see i have it on a pro plan we'll go back to space and now all of these models is open so if we look what we have it we have a stable division open journey analog um dash double fee a kind of fun one double exposure we also have it stylization included disney pixar style uh pixel one is actually work very good and we'll have it also anime and closer to the end of those ones is a little bit more nsfw type they, they still render normal images as well but just let you know be careful with this um, you could experiment if you're interested in it, but in general, just be careful. Be sure your filter is enabled if you don't want to accidentally pop up some of those nudity for you. Okay, so let's see what we have. Like right here, we'll go with anything here and uh, back to our line. Let's go ahead and see what we have. Before what I want to do, I want to just enable advanced mode for this so I can preview what I have. it. And I'm going to create landscape. Let's go pop up crazy. No, maybe about one five so i can increase steps it's a quality i'll increase guidance let's go to about about 12 11 and leave it all this negative create privately no i don't care about this image so it doesn't need to be private and i want to be sure it's anything so let's go ahead and click render also keep in mind if you're on a free versions you don't have access to faster gpu uh render which is actually right now when you're on a premium you have it a little bit fast and look right here, we have a beautiful render of the anime. Um, interesting things that all of these models, by the way, they're all accessible for you. So if you have it like right here, you run your local version of your local stable diffusion, you can actually go ahead and download it, all these models and access them from your local installation. So all what they do provide for you, it is web interface for those people who don't have the ability or video card slow or other things to run all those popular models on one place in one website, which is kind of very nice. And a price wise is not bad because I think the basic is a $4. Okay. But if you want all models, you need to pay $15, which is a cheaper than some other services online. Keep in mind that is for unlimited render it's not that you don't buy points because many places you buy the points or whatever and when you run out you run out and you spend more this way it's unlimited you can render the only one problem what i found out here it is limitations on a side 
size. So what I was meaning by limitations, let's go check my profile where it was rendering and we'll look through some of them in a second. But if we look right here on uh, sizes, okay, let's go right there. You can see it's 512 by 760. Usually it's 512 by 512, but if you do other ones, you can a little bit increase in size, but generally it is very small. Because it's a very, very uh, small size, you want upscale for many cases. I will highly recommend for you to get a gigapixel um, uh, enlarger, the, the image rescale resizer. I will put a link down below for this. It's I love it. You know, I use Photoshop all the time and I find this gigapixel actually AI work way better. It's add nice details, nice upscale. And I'll put it probably link above for you to check the video to compare all this um, when I did the comparison on them. By the way, that is, you almost need to have it if you want increase size. But right here, let's look very fast what is rendered on my test. You can see this is, I try all these different models. So it's a text was the beautiful young queen, Renaissance painting. Um, couple tricks, uh, let me point for you. It is elegant crown. The reason is if when you render with AI, AI sometimes chopped head off, we maybe have this problem. However, if you place it something above the head, like crown, then it says, okay, I need to render crown. So it will, won't chop the top of the head in this case. Same, you can play with fancy shoes, but necessary, it uh, it's won't work necessary all the time because shoes, they can hold it in a hand or other things. Better way to do it's maybe you put it like wooden floor or a carpet or something. So the um, AI kind of look and try to render that position as well. And of course the figuring will be inside. I don't have it any negative prompt that I should put it like, for example, no frame, no border, and that will do. Okay, you can remaster, you can remix this image as well if you need it and have it all as different. This is Nasan type. And you notice Nasan, um, they train different models, but you can have it render um, clean, nice images as well. And this does a very good job. Okay, and right here was render with all these different models. And this is models, it's easy to identify. If you go inside, you can see it's a anime type, style, the anything version 3.0. This is the anime training. And you can see how the different models represent, which is kind of nice. Same the pixel based, uh, Disney style. I think this one is a nitro. So all of these different styles, you can kind of experiment and run. I did same with the landscapes and some models will perform a little bit better. And this is help you to create the image in a style or actually in a train style you want it. For example, if you want a little bit more illustration, a little bit more realistic, uh, pixel art or so on. So this is different models. This is actually very nice. Same like right here, for example, anime style, if you need to create. As I said before, let's go back here and you can notice, again, maybe I'm repeating, but right there you can save it open journey on the bottom, analog diffusion, you have it all these models. And with these models, you actually can go like to the hugging faces and you can download the model directly from hugging face if you run locally. Just keep in mind, uh, I would highly recommend to download it with a safe tenors. This is the new format which does not allow some malicious code because if you're familiar and you notice ckpt format may include some python malicious code that is may harm your machine it's why the pickles was introduced right there so allowed you to verify or see what is code is malicious inside this safe tenors is does not have those code so they're safe for you to actually download it but not every local installation can run the latest updates with a uh, Automatic 111 will do this, but if you have it, some other ones, they may not run properly, not recognize these extensions. But just keep in mind, it's what I recommend because currently I run Stable Diffusion and you can see um, uh, anything 11 installation and it uses safe tenors for this as a model. This is uh, Stable Diffusion. This is the 1.5. I also have a 2.1 uh, installation as well. But problem is with some models, they do not work with a 2.1. So just to be sure, it's the reason why I'm running on a little bit older one. But same, go there, download models. If you want, you can run locally. But for many people who does not have a privilege um, or accessibility <laughs> to have it a bigger video cards, uh, then this is probably the good server for you to try it and keep uh, just to remember those Stable Diffusion 1.5 and Stable Diffusion 2.1, those versions are free 
For the two, you need a login, but for one, you don't even need login. You just can go on this side and render unlimited as many as you want it. Well, hopefully you find this video interesting and just give it a try. Go to this uh, Mage Space uh, website. How I said before, I'm not sponsored by them. I just found and I think it's unique as an interesting and I want to just share with you. See, maybe you can find something interesting here and exploring the different sides of AI generated images. Thank you for watching. Give us thumbs up, subscribe, share video and thank for your support. Have a great time creating.